Hey, what's going on Glove Flip Nation? So, it's been a couple years, probably like two or three years since I've actually done a proper glove tour, glove room, glove tour, because actually, I've moved places, I have a new office, we actually have a new baseball facility that I don't think most of you guys have seen, only the local guys have really seen, but um, I'd love to show off the glove office and then probably in another video we'll show off our new baseball facility. So just want to do a quick little video showing off all the gloves, kind of my setup, my little collection that I have going on, and some of my other gear, so let's get into it. Alright, let's start over at the glove table, so this is where I shoot all my Instagram um, just content, so if I ever do a before and after picture, this is usually where it's taken. Kind of do one of these. Have a bunch of old, um, just a bunch of old advertising, different Tiger stuff, because you know what, go Tigers. But anyways, what you guys want to see, we have the gloves. So right here, this is the Mocha. This is actually my Mocha from when I played in university, and I played with it a little bit in Juco. Not too, too much, so I was still breaking it in then. It's a little worn. I did not use conditioner back then. I'm a big idiot for not doing that. Then we have the Man Child's Old Glove. If you guys haven't seen the latest um, Glove Love video, we did a full restoration of this glove. Redid all the hand sewn welting, conditioned it up, put some new laces in. Go check that out. This is a really cool glove. I wish the binding still was gold. There's like a little, there's a couple spots that's still gold on, but. Oh my god, this glove looks sick when it was new. Then, whew, we got the old Faithful, and it's looking, you know what? She's seen better days, I'm gonna tell you that. She's definitely seen better days. Inside's a little crusty right now. Not crusty, but you know what I mean. Ooh, look at that, that's a worn glove. That's a well-used glove. And just so all you guys know, I use all my gloves. I don't just let them sit, except for, okay. This is the one glove that will sit because... Okay, this is the one glove that actually will sit on the on the shelf. I'll show this off in a sec. Alright, so this is the Pro... Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm shaking like crazy. So this is a Pro 64 T1D. So the T1D stands for Type 1 Diabetes and this is what this glove is really for. This glove, so once a year they do a T1D glove. Um, Proceeds go to type 1 diabetes and they're usually like fun little collaborations with um, with Rawlings So this is actually a Japanese model that we got in uh, in North America. It's pretty sweet. Let me just focus this real quick um, Yeah, we got some of the Japanese fingering there Got some sweet logos. Yeah, pretty unique glove. This is a glove that I probably I've used I use it inside a couple times at their baseball facility, but this is definitely not hitting the baseball field ever. Next glove. I know I'm gonna get some hate for this. I do not use this glove. I use it in the facility here and there. I used to use it all the time, but the model, I'm, I'm just not a fan. It's a 1786, which I know most of you guys, if you use a Wilson, you're probably using a 1786. You know what, just for me, it's just not the model. It's just not, it's just not me. But the glove, oh, like, come on. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this thing. Got the nice super skin on it, and I'm a big fan of super skin. Absolutely huge fan of the super skin. But this is just a glove I I bring out here and there. Definitely not the model I like using, because this is my favorite model, and I have, I have a 1788 Wilson as well, super skin, and it's basically what I use, so this is the, the Rawlings, I thought it was a, yeah, 217. A little smaller, 11 and a quarter, but I also have that in a Wilson, but it's at our baseball facility right now, so. This is a glove. I love it, but I do not use it. All right, we're looking, ooh, she's dusty. I gotta freaking dust that off. The Biggio. Now this is a cool glove right here. This is my Craig Biggio. I actually found this on sideline swap. So when I was on sideline swap, this glove actually had a white web in there. I don't know, someone did like a web replacement on it too, like something not original. But they still had the original web, which was awesome because it, I just asked them for it and they said 100% when I bought it. I think I got it for like 100 bucks. It's mint, looking crispy, relace it up, just uh, conditioned it a little bit, make it look nice. I absolutely love this glove though. And the stitching on the thumb is, 
I don't know, I, I kind of wish they bring that back. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. On this glove, I do like it. Looks pretty sweet. There we go. On to the next. All right, what do we got left? We got a glove works here. This is my mess around glove at the baseball facility. 11 and a quarter inches, custom glove works. I just want to try them out the one time. I actually, I do like the glove. I do not game it though. I do use it a decent amount actually. Wear to the baseball facility. I love the look of it. It has green lace in it because it did snap when I was playing catch with my brother because he throws absolute ched. Um, yeah, this is definitely a glove. I'm a big fan of, just not, um, it's just not one of my gamers. And the one, the glove everyone likes seeing, the Timberglaze. Okay, you know what? Looks wise, definitely one of my favorite gloves. Like, this thing is sweet, absolutely nasty. I don't like the 204, I don't know what it is. Something about, like, I think I'm just an idiot and I just don't wear baseball gloves properly, but this is just not a glove I use in the game. I might, you know what? Maybe I'll just pitch with this glove. That could actually be a nasty pitching glove. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 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 that's what I'll start doing because I think the days of pitching with uh, my eye webs are over. Might have to upgrade the little H web. But honestly, yeah, this glove is sweet. Um, this is a custom glove I did up uh, probably like this probably going back four years now Four or five years that I customized this. I love it, but Another glove I do not game, but maybe now maybe I will pitch with this All right, we'll give a little tour of the desk right here. So that this is where I take all my Instagram stuff sometimes TikToks. TikToks are hard to feel them. Oh my god, like I don't know if I can do it, but Here's some of the products we use. So Ballplayers Bomb, I absolutely love. I love this conditioner. Or, this is actually the cleaner. I love the cleaner for this. Makes the gloves look real nice. Um, I had this product before, Pelican Glove Rub. This is my conditioner. This is actually, I, once again, I feel like you can't go wrong on a lot of the conditioners. This is really good. Um, I would recommend that. Um, more cleaner, but. Yeah, if you're gonna look for a conditioner, this is pretty good. I'm, I know Ball Player Bomb does it, but I, I have so much conditioner that I just didn't want to buy another tin. I was more looking for the cleaners. Uh, we got some stickers, more stickers. All right, we got this weird little corner over here. So this corner, I have my leather skiver. So this is actually like making the leather, so like the leather laces in the glove a little bit thinner. So for like the hand, so anything in the palm, I'm just making it a little bit thinner so it's more comfortable and it actually lets the glove move a little bit better. And then we have all our upcoming gloves. So these are gloves that I'm working on currently. So this is uh, one of our catcher's gloves. I'm gonna be doing that up in tan. This one's gonna be up in blonde. So I gotta do this actually today. I gotta work on that one today. And then we have some old vintage gloves that, this is gonna be for an upcoming video. Pro not next week, but I think the week after we're gonna be doing uh, Doing some testing on these, see how strong they are. So that will be fun. I have some couple of the old gloves there. Got some Christmas presents. Cause you know what, it's almost Christmas. It's almost that time. We got a couple more days. All right, I guess I'll give like the little quick tour of the actual office, not just like the items in it, but. Over in the corner, we have this vintage London Tiger. So in our city, we actually had the Tigers double A team that was here, I think till I think it was till 92 or 93. Um, the old Cleveland Indians logo. Then we have our time from Oakland. This is like my board where I'm organizing everything. So got my lums lacing, my YouTube, some events, travel. So this is a big trip that we plan on doing, going to Japan, trying to get all that sorted out. But um, and then also go watch a Savannah's a Savannah Bananas game. So that is gonna be another adventure. Just right now, it kind of sucks over. It's kind of the winter time, and uh, she kind of cold out. Not a lot of baseball going on. Um, got some podcast ideas, um, some Twitch. I do want to do some Twitch. Um, just gotta find out some content. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see on Twitch. I'll I'll do anything. I was thinking about relacing gloves. Okay. On to this little, let me just zoom out here quick. 
we got the glove cabinet. So we got London Tigers hat. So that's that double A team I was talking about from London. Then, whew, we got our Sam Fultz hat. This is when I played uh, played against Bo Bichette and a couple of the other MLB prospects in a wiffle ball tournament. That was a lot of fun. That was probably one of the best experiences with baseball. Got our gloves. Got our Tigers bobbleheads. Oh, and the absolute stud himself. We got Bartolo. Look at this man. Whew. We got Big Sexy up there. We got the gloves we already shown off. We got, we got a couple balls. This is a ball from my university. This is from our national championships, I think my 18 new year. And then that back ball, I think that's from, what is that? Oh, that's my Juco ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my Juco ball. I forgot about that. Juco, good times, good times. And then we just have some, um, some fresh webs. So if anybody wants to do a web swap, I'm probably gonna do this. I'm really thinking about it. Like every little bit of me wants to put this red web in my old mocha. Cause you know what, just give a little bit of life. Got our pounding pad, got some baseball books, and we got the cleats down here. Kind of fresh. Honestly, fair, favorite pair of cleats. Actually, both of these are, it's just something about this model, like this, I think it's a, the Lunar Elites, these are the Lunar Elite 2s, these are my medals, but then when the legs, you know, when the legs aren't feeling too good, I throw in the Moldeds, oh, these are clean, these, these are my favorite to wear, I'm not gonna lie, these are my favorite to wear, they look good. They feel awesome on my feet and they're super light. Like I never would have th thought I went back to molded cleats, but honestly, it's a great call. I, I just, the only thing I wish is they made better looking molded cleats. Like I wish they made the exact same metal cleats as they did molded. Like I wish they were the exact same. That would make my life so much easier. All right, just a quick little glove tour video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Next week, we will be at the baseball facility doing a little bit more fun content. We got some challenges, we got some call outs. Oh, it's gonna be fun. And guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'll see you guys in the next video.